still feeling like there's no spark going. I wonder if there's any way I could have put this cap on backwards. No, luckily the wires will not allow. There's a couple of shoddy wires in here too that I'm worried about, one inside the distributor. Looks like it's been taped up at one point, that's always a sign. This one here, it's insulation is busted off, but... So there's all kinds of things still could be. I may grab the wife and see if she can watch and see if the sparks fly through that point there. Okay, well that explains it. Uh, with Kara's help there, there's no spark coming off the points. Uh, and obviously there's no spark at the, uh, at the spark plugs. So that is a distinct failure to chooch. And I'll have to look at whether the coil's just old and shitty, one of those crappy wires I told you about. The points themselves are pretty easy to replace. That wire inside the distributor could be a culprit. So over on the right side of the engine here, in a combination of that, the, uh, the wire that goes from the ignition switch into here could be suspect, although that's never been a thing in the past, so I'm not going to suspect that one right away. <sighs> yeah, well, you know, that's what happens when it sits for too long. Shit corrodes, and uh, I did, um, you probably couldn't see it, but you could hear me um, sanding the points, but there might not be enough copper left on there to do its business. Anyway, we will be back at the market at some point Sunday afternoon now, so it won't be this week, but uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.